Jim. The soil he did crawl. Earthworm Jim. A super suit did fall. Jim was just a dirt eating, chewing length of worm flesh, but all that came to a crash. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Sega CD. We've been we've been getting more use out of this system than I thought we would have. I figured this would be just something we check out maybe once or twice at most, but we've uh we've gone through a few games, and this time we are going through Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim is a 1994 action game of the platforming variety. Now, even though it was originally released in 1994 for both Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, we are playing the 1995 Sega CD version called the Special Edition. This uh, was requested of me by a YouTube uh, user and uh, a fan of our show, uh, Scarlet Carnage. Uh, Earthworm Jim was developed and published by, uh, what was it, Shiny Entertainment and Virgin Interactive. And if we keep watching, we should see a logo for our good friends at Interplay. So right there, we can see the line art of Jim, just having a good old time. And that's part of the, uh, I would say that's a big part of the appeal of Earthworm Jim here is that the character sprites are just so expressive and animated and they have a lot of charm and fun stuff going on. And then of course we have classy stuff like that, like the uh, title of the game being burped at us. So let's jump to the options real quick. So these are our controls, A to fire, B to whip, and C to jump. We are playing on normal, because, quite frankly, I don't think I can beat it on difficult. I might not even beat it on normal. We also have the option here to use passwords. We don't have any passwords yet, but that's going to change. I'm going to leave the sound and music the way they are, and I'm going to leave the controls the way they are. So, when we press start, we press start and we just jump right into the game. And our first stage is New Junk City. So I was requested to play this version of the game in part because the special edition uh, includes content not in the other uh, versions of the game, but because the requester says it has the best music out of all the versions of the game. So let me tell you guys a little bit. I got the request to play this, and I thought, yeah, Earthworm Jim will be fun. What I'll do is I'll just practice and practice and practice, and I'll try to get every little secret and every little detail that I could. But as I was doing that, I was realizing I'm not having fun. I was not enjoying trying to collect every little detail and find every little secret. Now, I'll still try to get as many as I can, but I'm now I'm just going to try to have fun and play through all the stages. Now, we're stuck here. There's this cow here. When Jim uses his own body to whip, he can't do anything. But there's that fridge up there. And that cow is positioned ever so appropriately on that uh, log. And we have cow reach. Now I'm sure that was a fine decision, but that will have no effect on us during the rest of the game. So we see that Jim can jump, he can whip in the different directions with his own body, and he can even fire his gun. But we have some special ammo. I'm not going to use it right now. But one thing he can do is if I keep pressing jump, he can do that little helicopter thing with his head which slows his descent. And we are going to try the helicopter between the corner over here. Because so that is one of those little secrets that I was talking about that was aggravating me trying to get them. And this is actually a pretty good one to get if we can get it. 
And since I am using, or rather since I am using the power of, uh, of editing, I could always just jump ahead to when I finally get it right. There we go. Now Jim is going to walk across, well not really walk across, he's going to swing across this chain. And you can probably notice that he's using one arm to do it and his own head. Alright, so there's a one-up and a power-up for our gun. I'm going to try to grab them both. Alright. Generally speaking, I'd say a one-up is worth it. Okay, so here's another bit of fun. You see, right over there, that kind of shiny, sparkly little hook-looking thing? Well, if we can hit it, we can swing across. And I am, wow, I'm doing pretty bad. that one up. Was all this practice for naught? Yeah, yeah it was. Jim, you're making me look bad here. Come on. Hopefully I can do this right, and there we go. We're just going to jump from these pulleys. Oh, come on, Jim. Jim can shoot up, down, diagonal, all kinds of good things. And we get to this toilet. You might be thinking, what is Jim supposed to do with this toilet? Well, in this stage at any rate, toilets... If I can... There we go. Toilets are warp zones. We can take that toilet and skip a big chunk of this stage. We're not going to do that. I want to get power-ups. And I want to try to show as much of the stage off as I can. So let's do this one more time. No, 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 Jim. Let's get that last power-up. There's another crow. Crows are going to be a common motif throughout this game. I haven't really talked about the power-ups, have I? Well, you've seen a couple of power-ups for Jim's gun. Right now we have uh, a homing shot. Those kind of, I don't know, what do you, what do you think you call those? Those atom-looking things? That's Jim's health. Jim is currently at 100% health. As Jim takes damage, that 100% will go down. We can collect those little power-ups to bring his health back up. This is the first stage, folks. It's only going to get better from here.
Hmm, why are you grabbing that? What am I doing wrong? Am I jumping too late? Am I jumping too soon? Take that, crow. So I did say that I had played this before. I, I used to play it on my Super Nintendo. And the truth is, I was not very good at it. And not being very good at it also kind of led to me not playing it much and not liking it much. Which I don't think is fair, because the game is actually pretty good. I'm just not pretty good at it. Alright. So if you look carefully, you can see we got some hooks here. And there we go. Two one-ups just on this one stage. bird to catch us. And he caught us. Let go. Let go. Troublemaker. Jim, I'd like you to drop. Thank you, Jim. So you may remember, we saw earlier, we can whip on those moose skulls. Ooh, we're not doing good. We have taken a lot of damage. Well, we get to see Jim's death animation. Oh yeah. I imagine we are going to see that quite a bit during the course of this game. this time. And there is another one. Make up for the one I just lost. And it is now mini boss time. In fact, I gotta be honest with you, if it wasn't if it wasn't on the Earthworm Gym cartoon, chances are I don't know its name. Jim. Good old Jimmy. Just, nah, I thought we could jump over that toilet. We can't. We're moving on to the next part of the stage. Uh, 
and somehow Jim has lost his suit. And he's going around all natural. This is going to happen a couple of times during the course of the game. We have these levels, these episodes where we're just kind of hopping around without our clothes. We have Jim in his monkey suit. Jim is really just kind of slipping and sliding around here. So I gotta kind of be careful with the momentum. Sometimes I'm gonna really wanna be moving. Sometimes I'm gonna wanna be going a little slow. All right. So, what do you think? You think these these signs here are questioning Jim's virility. We will take the, the path of the stud. getting those one-ups, we should be fine. That's not fine, though. I gotta be a little faster there. I'm nude. Path of the Wimp it is. And we are reconnected with our suit. And we are ready to take on... Is it the box of this level already? Yeah, it is. So this big guy... You know, drop crates. We want to launch them up at him, and then he's gonna, he's gonna vomit fish at us. Well, you know, he wanted to come prepared. He wanted to make sure that he was well uh, fed before his confrontation with uh, Jim, and that he had lots of omega uh, mega vitamins. We gotta be careful. We gotta actually aim this thing a little bit. He's not done yet. Not in terms of being defeated or out of fish. But now he is. Good riddance. Never liked you. And Jim gets on his rocket and off he goes. Ready to save the next planet. Alright, so here is our password. Remember that. We need this password so we can continue at the next level. So if you're playing along at home, feel free to use this password. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video when we go to the next world.